What is going on? Happy Friday, everybody. It's time for the Big Foodies. BB Shea, Biggie, Matt. The Big Foodies is always presented by Berkey Hinkley Orthodontics. Coming at you live from the Biggie's Berkey Hinkley Orthodontics Kitchen Studio. And so we did something like this a couple weeks ago. We kind of just let stuff build up and come out and then we try it all at once. So we call this the Big Foodies Try It Haul. So this time we got a whole like bunch a of hole. chips, some drinks, a whole bunch of other stuff. We're going to try it and let you know what we think and let you know if you need to go out and get it as well. So. Yeah, it looks like summer flavors, I'd yes. say, are rolling out. That's a, of course, you thought Mountain Dew was done, but yeah, it never no, is. Never so as that, always, uh, they come through with a new one. So, yeah. hey. What's that, Summer Breeze? I yeah, think? Summer Freeze. Is summer Freeze. Called. You want to go ahead and try this one? We're also going to try the Zero. And actually, I can tell a color difference in those two, or is that just me? Yeah, yeah. They, they look a little bit. Yes, yeah. this one's a little darker. Interesting. Yeah. All right, you want to try this one first? Start with that. You want to use some Mountain Dew? Some cups. And then, of course, we got, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like this was a Korean thing. We got Doritos, tangy ketchup, tangy ketchup, and hot mustard. I do enjoy a hot mustard sauce from McDonald's. I enjoy a hot mustard um, on a lot of things, especially on, I love an egg roll with a Chinese hot mustard. Food. Yes, yes, Thank yes. you. Yep. And then this was new, too, which we'll get to, but... uh. Doritos and Jack Link's Beef Jerky teaming up. So that's interesting. We tried the uh, uh, Takis yeah. beef uh, stick. Now, is this the, it. are we going original this here? This is the original here. Mmm, smells good. It smells like a, one of those like red, white, and blue popsicles, which might be. It does. Bomb pop. Mm-hmm. Which I think is what they were going for here. Mm. Tastes like a bomb pop. I like that. Yeah, not your thing. No, it's good, but I, it tastes like every other blue Mountain Dew to me, honestly. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this isn't like thirst quenching to me. No, this is more like a once one off treat. I'll tell you this: I don't think I'd go for that on a hot day. <laughs> like, let me uh, no. cool down with a. No, I am interested. Summer in freeze. This. I mean, if you're one of those people who can drink Mountain Dew regularly and not have like heart palpitations, then please do it. <laughs> I am not that person. Um, yeah, BB Shea's a big golfer. What is a what's your drink of choice on the golf course? Water, just water, just water. Not even like, a Gatorade. Every a- occasionally, I'll have a beer, <laughs> but <laughs> no, I strictly just drink water on the course. Really, staying yeah. hydrated. Yeah, that's how I. Well, I, I love a Gatorade at the turn and yeah. after eighteen, but. I, Drink beer. That's why really? you golf. I, yeah. I, I'll tell I gotta, you. I, I got to stay sharp up here, man. I can't, why? I can't, I can't drink and play golf. I'll tell you, I never could either. I can't drink oh, beer I love and it. play golf. It just makes me feel old. Oh, I've taken yeah. liquor drinks on the course. Liquor before, drink man. did a little different. Definitely a difference there. Way different. Yeah. It's just muted. Like anything exactly. that's zero, everything just gets muted. It's like, it's, it's like the roller coaster that didn't reach the hump. It just stays flat. This yeah. tastes fake. I mean, yeah. that's super. Yeah. That's weird. I very much prefer okay. the sugar. Yeah. Summer freeze. I mean, yeah, g- give it a shot. I reckon. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. I reckon. That's very, very different. Yeah. All right. You know, jerky. And then jerk it up. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> In this circle. <laughs> Jerk me, dog. My bad. <coughs> this is a kid show, sort of. Is it? I don't think so. Now, in case you were wondering, this bag of jerky was $88. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No, but I just feel like that. Jerky's so expensive. I tell you, that's not an appetizing smell to me. What? I originally got into jerky. I don't know how y'all feel about it. I like it. I love it. It's just expensive as hell. It is expensive. I'm a fan. Oh, they're pretty good. That's um, good. One day, wait till we go to our. One day we're going to make the trip to Bucky's. They got a ton of jerky there. I, I but see, I think we've had this discussion before. Growing up, jerky was like a not an expensive thing. It was just like no, like oh, you're eating jerky. Oh god, right. are you poor? Yeah. Now it's like oh wow, did you get a raise? <laughs> <laughs> I love a homemade beef jerky. Hmm. I don't like the smell, but the taste is good. 
The yeah, smell's kind of good. a turn off. It's not as spicy as I thought it would no, be. No, not at all. I feel like I've had this before, though. Mm hmm. Just like they just wrapped a new package around one flavor, like a teriyaki flavor. I think that's what it is. It tastes like a teriyaki beef jerky. No. There's no heat. Mm hmm. I think I'm just really hungry. <laughs> The good news, we got chips galore. I love it. Watch that. Why don't you dig into these? Because we're talking spice. Get the hot stuff out of the way. Mm hmm. Salsa right. picante. So, what did you guys think of the. Like, I like it. To me, it's yeah. not any different than a normal, like, teriyaki yeah. flavor. And that's what I felt like I was eating was teriyaki jerky. Yeah. If this is more expensive, just get the regular jerky. Yeah. Doritos Tapatio. This is going to burn me up. Probably. I can tell from Matt's face. It's a little... Oh, wow. You get a little... You do get a little punch there. How do y'all like Tapatio normally? Is it like your go... It's not my go-to hot sauce. No. But... If it's there, though, it's not... Not bad. It's a delay burn. It's not hot out the gate, but it gets hot. I like that flavor, though. It's not hot for the sake of being hot. There's at least flavor to this. Mm hmm. Hmm. What you wrap a Locos taco in this? Ooh. Taco Bell. Give me the cool ranch. That's a really good flavor. Give me the regular Dorito. Give me this. No, I'm low sodium 99% of the time. So maybe it's just that my body's like. Ooh, what's no. happening? Yeah. But I think that's a really good flavor. Hmm. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. That's it's got a burn. That's my meter right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a little kick. Nothing crazy, though. It's fine. It's good. It is a good flavor, though. Definitely so, like that. I'll say this. Plenty of dust. Yeah. Yeah. All chips that's, are very well coated. That's one of the better Doritos products that's fairly newer than that. Yeah. I agree with that. Now, these two, I'm very interested in. But before you, we break into them, we'll go ahead and give a shout out to our friends at the Berry Patch. It's very, perfect for the summer kickoff. Exactly. Summer kickoff, kicking off time to go to the Berry Patch. People are going to the beach. People are going down that way. I'm actually people, going to the beach this weekend and there planning you go. on stopping on the way down yeah. and the way back. Exactly. Perfect. Berry Patch right off of 220 in Ellerby. You'll notice the huge strawberry shaped figure when you see it on the side of the highway. That means that's your time to stop. Get off the exit and go hang out with our friends at the Berry Patch. Fresh produce, fresh fruit, the best ice cream you'll ever have. Nice people, and they got a little bit of everything to uh, you know, to suit your needs. So shout out to the Berry Patch, World's Largest Strawberry.com. Tell them the big food he said. Sup. What's up? One of the big foodies will be saying, What's up? Yeah. yeah. Twice. Twice. <laughs> one hey, there, one me. back. Weren't you just here? What's yeah. good? What's good? All right, BB, you're the interested one. Where do you go? <sighs> You know what? We'll save these for the. This is where I'm intrigued right here. Okay. Honestly, I love a Cuban sandwich. I think Cuban sandwiches are amazing. Let me say this: Lay's has done these collabs before. Yes. When they do it with their wavy lays, it holds the flavor better. better. So the fact that this is on a wavy lay excites me. I have been in search of the best Cuban sandwich my entire life. I lo I'm with you. I love a Cuban sandwich. I've had. One good one in, like, what, probably my top is in Florida. But if somebody has one, I'm going to try it. But you know, I'm still in search of the best one. I know the best one I've ever had. And me and Matt were just talking about this on the way here. There's this place called Tennessee Jed's in Gatlinburg. I get advertisements for that place. They have one of the best sandwiches, and their Cuban sandwich is phenomenal. This, as well, is really good. I get pickled. Yeah. But you get pickled. What do you get? I get pickle and I get a little bit of like a mustardy. Yeah. Tell you though, it's a good chip. And you're right, the wavy lay makes a big difference. I thought you said shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> that too, but. I was like, it's a good it chip. Um, That's a good chip. The wavy lay makes all the difference. Yeah. Is it a Cuban sandwich? Yeah. I mean, it's I got get a little bit of like a, a lime mustard. 
It's got some of the Cuban flavor Mm -hmm. there, but you know, you can't match the pork and the ham and the bread. I'll tell you, it's good. I can have it with a sandwich, so it's good. Mm -hmm. All right. I would like to try the ketchup next. I eat ketchup. I wonder, I'm fascinated by these because I want to know what hot mustard they based it off of. There are several versions of hot mustard to me. There's a Chinese restaurant hot mustard. There's just a hot mustard. Yeah. That you buy, like, a you know, in the deli. That's so weird. That's one of the strangest things I've ever That's eaten. so weird. That's bizarre. How would you describe that, Barrett? It's like eating ketchup on the chip. Yeah, this is... I can't believe it's that close to ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got like a coolness. Yeah. Like as ketchup has been in the fridge. And a smoothness to it. Like, wow. they, they captured ketchup texture with that chip perfectly. I almost don't know how to chew it. Mm-hmm. Because it... Yeah. That's such a weird experience. Because okay. we've done a lot of things that are supposed to taste like things. Yeah. Very rarely do they hit the mark. On, a, on occasion, they do. But that's ketchup. This one hit the mark. <laughs> they I mean, nailed it. Yeah. That is ketchup. Now, I'm not like a ketchup by itself person. No. I like it on stuff. So it's kind of weird to me to eat it like this. Like without the association of like the fry Mm -hmm. or like the burger or the hot dog or whatever. I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. That's why. Regardless of how I feel about it, Doritos has nailed ketchup as a flavor. Yeah. It tastes fine. I just... Would you... Would you put those on would you put those on a burger? Maybe. I mean people put chips on sandwiches for a little crunch. I'm excited about this. What hot mustard vibe are you getting? It doesn't smell like hot mustard. It smells Mm. tangy. Okay. Like um like the Cubans. See if I'm wrong. See what it smells like. That's weird. I don't get a mustard vibe. Oh! Chinese hot mustard. Chinese hot mustard, okay. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Hell no. <laughs> Hell I like them. No. I like them. Uh-uh. That's that chemical ass mustard right there. Uh-uh. I like it. No. Wow. It's got a sour kick to it. Mm. That's what I smelt, that tang. Mm-hmm. Ooh, no. It's got, oh, yeah. <coughs> no. Oh, man, that's good. That's like a soury. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's Keep wild that right stuff. There, right? Mm. Huh. Nah. Uh-uh. Mm. <laughs> no. Have at it, dog. Mm-mm. No, thank you. That's, that's a homemade mustard, like, Oh, that's a, that's a, that's Chinese hot yeah. mustard, but mm. it's a little more sour, and I like it. Mm. I'll do one more because I feel like just one chip's not fair. That's totally mm. fair. Yeah, that's <laughs> such a that's that okay. That flavor though is insane. Like the flavor that comes off of that. Oh is yeah, it, it wakes you up. That's it almost is. like I just took a shot of wasabi or something. Yeah. yeah. Like, remember when we were eating those wrap snacks a couple weeks ago? And that last one, they just had so many. That one right there, like. You know what's crazy is they have the mustard bottle on here. And that should not be a mustard bottle. No. That no. should be a packet of, of yes. eight yeah. not mustard. Yes. I, um, my girlfriend hates mustard. And I want to keep these and trick her with Do it. Them. Please do it. <laughs> she despises it and she would hate these. That's just so. That is the, the the most pronounced flavor chip I've ever eaten. Yeah. 
if you put all these chips, every chip in the world, and did a blind taste test, and I tried that, I would know that is a hot mm-hmm. mustard, yeah, a no. Chinese it's hot good. mustard chip. I like to see your son eat one of these and just watch. It'd be like eating a lemon, I bet, for a him. He'd just be like, "What?" Golly. I'll take a couple home and I'll let him try it. I'll film it. Yeah, he'll. I guarantee you, he's gonna go. Yeah. Well, because the sour, it hits you so. I mean, I will say to Doritos, those three Dorito chips, like them, dislike them, hate them, love yeah. them. Those have some flavor. To Nailed them. the flavor. Yes. Yeah. Nailed the flavor. They have flavor. Okay. All right. There's your summer spectacular. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's worth throwing. I, if I was having a barbecue, I'd throw these out there. Yeah. And the I mean, ketchup and mustard. I feel like these are going to be very polarizing. Like yeah. You're either going to be all about these chips, or you're not going to be able to stand these chips. Yeah. That's how I feel about them. I like it. I can't, I can't do that. Yeah, I'm man. <clears throat> well, that's a kickoff to summer. That's what I'm saying. Give me another Jack Link. Right. That is a summer <laughs> kickoff right there. Um, let us know if you find these. Try these. Uh, let us know how you kick your summer off, I guess. Uh, of course, feel free to comment. Uh, you can find us on every podcasting platform out there. Of course, we're on YouTube, the Facebooks. We got some Instagrams. exciting stuff coming up. Got some, coming up the yeah, I got so. some new stuff coming up. So, oh, yeah. time to let's just say you might see us out and about in the wild. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. where are those three big dudes going? <laughs> yeah. I'm leaving. I don't feel comfortable. Of course, they're here. <laughs> what if there's any food left? That's right. <laughs> Save some for me. Okay. Save yeah, some for the rest of us, big boy. Oh. All right, we are the big foodies, and we will talk to you next week.